Hi, how are five you? Five minutes, so go ahead. Hi, James. Hi, I'm Amy. I'm Sean. <laughs> I had to thank this woman because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. And it's uh, so humble and appreciative, and it means like the world to me. So. Well, some of the other fans recommended you, so I know. that was I'm really so cool. wonderful. Yeah. The thing I'm happiest that. about is the community seems yeah. to all be bonding with each other, and that's one of my favorite things. Yeah. And we're both like very long members of the that's forum cool. and everything like that's that. That's really so. cool. Yeah, my first CD I got from you <laughs> was back in like. Well, my sister got it from, from you <laughs> in Penn State, like yeah. back in 96 or something. You were playing on the lawn. Aww. And you just gave my sister the CD and she gave it to me. Aww. Same, same this is deal personal, deal. right? From <laughs> Jewel. Oh, really? Except I had, uh, my first CD was, uh, I got yours on Christmas and the Spice Girls. <laughs> <So> <laughs> very tiny All kinds, yeah, that's good. I have my birthday. Why not? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we saw you made that, like, cake. And we, you've been doing, like, the, a lot of the baking things, like the... Uh, not Perkins, what is it? Denny's. Mm -hmm. uh, is that something you're like, branching into? Is, like, or do you cook a lot? Or is I that... love to cook. I'm a huge fan of it. I watch all the Food Network like a religion. Those like enchiladas or whatever. Those enchiladas. Yeah. <laughs> <That's so good. laughs> I really love to cook, and it's funny because it's just like my music. Like one day I'll cook Mexican, and the next day I'll cook French, and the next day I'll cook baked goods, and it's like all over the map as usual. <laughs> I like that, what was that, on Iron Chef a couple years ago you mm -hmm. did, or was it yeah. like, lamb or something? Yeah, or something? What was the lamb that? challenge. I was oh, I got to be a, a judge on Iron Chef America, which was the only show I've ever asked my agency to hook me up with, and they were like, most people ask to be on episodes of Friends, <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, like, I'm on One Free Hill, but you want to be on Iron Chef America. <laughs> I was like, hook me up. Hey, it's nice to have friends. <laughs> yeah. um, I was thinking about you this weekend because I grew up on a farm and I was mm -hmm. riding my horse. And my horse is the most stubborn thing, and you know my hut, my father's there. Show him who's boss. Like, I don't know <laughs> what that means. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How did Jewel handle this situation? <laughs> and I was thinking about you. I was like, it was beautiful this like trail, and I was on the horse. And I was fighting the horse the whole time, but. You know, I was thinking about like, oh, I wonder if there's Aww. riding a horse in Texas right now. Yeah, <laughs> riding horses is a whole art. It's really or amazing. Were you ever like scared of it? Because I, I'm deadly afraid of horses, but I love them and mm -hmm. I've always wanted to learn. But they're just so frightening, and it's yeah. like one of my biggest fears. But I love them. They're beautiful animals. You need to trust them. <laughs> and is, yeah. is, is it like a trust thing? Like you have to build a trust with them? Or? It's mutual. They have to build a trust with you too. I think a lot of humans just overpower them. You know, it's really common the way Ty was taught to ride, and me as well was just to overpower them, force them to do what you want, which is kind of hard because they are a lot stronger mm -hmm. than you. But you will find horses that are just kind enough that they'll let you yank them around, push them around, and then the I was reading like this you. thing where you were saying, like, just to, to will, like, think you want them you to turn. Yeah. to think like, an, like a horse does. They're a herd animal, mm -hmm. and they're a, they're a prey animal, and so they're afraid. And so you have to learn mm -hmm. to talk in a different way. Way, yeah. Communicate with them in a different way because we try and drive a horse like we drive cars. We <laughs> let them drive, stop. But they're living animals that yeah. can't read your mind, and they don't not they don't know mechanical cues. So everything surprises them. You just yank their head, and they're like, "What the hell? Why are you <laughs> yanking my head out of the blue?" So you can spend years and years learning like a new style of horsemanship, but it's quite an ordeal. Mm -hmm. But a really neat passion. Yeah. Oh, so she knew to bring George back here. Wow. <laughs> How He's old is George? People. He's uh, about eight years old and. He's not very hip to people. So you just kind of like, he likes me. <laughs> Isn't that what he's spoiled? Yeah. spoiled? He's very spoiled, but he's very behaved at the same time. I think he, uh, so you're not like Paris Hilton overdoing it now? <laughs> I don't know, I'm probably overdo it. But like, he never needs a leash. He minds all That's my cute. cues and walks off mm -hmm. with a leash. And it's wonderful. He, never, he doesn't disobey, he's very well trained. Would you ever do like you did the orchestra thing in uh, Cleveland a couple mm -hmm. years? I was at that show as well, and that was one of like my favorites. Would you ever like do a whole tour like that or something? I'd like to. I've tried to put it together a couple times. They're hard to organize because yeah. you have to use the local symphony mm -hmm. and then finding dates that match up with mm -hmm. everybody's local symphonies. Ah. And then I think I would have to travel with a conductor. It can be done. I've mm -hmm. definitely thought about it and would like to. And I, I wouldn't rule it out. Yeah, that night was like that night was amazing. It was. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's something I'd love to aspire to, like to be able to, like as my fan base grows and mm -hmm. you know, to be able to do oh, kind of oh, last we time. I'd love to do more. You have to get dressed up for those. I just think <laughs> it's so fun. An evening with. We we're gonna ask you. Uh, you do like you know you did the acting before. Like we we, had, we were reading a couple of years ago like that Wave project, the movie Wave or whatever. Mm -hmm. like, whatever happened with with that? Because that never was discussed again. Anymore. Yeah, I don't know. That one just fell through. Which I mean, all movies pretty much mm -hmm. do. Um, I kind of. Quit pursuing acting 
even though I, I love it, and as an artist, I would have loved, I think I would have been great. I think I would have loved to do it. It really was fulfilling. But it wasn't as fulfilling as it was exhausting. And I looked at like what it would take to have two full-time careers, have to live in Hollywood. And then I looked at people that did have two careers, and it's hard. It's hard to have a love life. It's hard to keep a relationship. And it's got to be weird. Have two like relationships. Um, and low I think it's weird. weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is weird. It's and they weird. all say it isn't, but it's I weird. <laughs> It's super weird. I think it's really weird. Who wouldn't want to kiss Bravo, though? <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, anyway, I wanted to say thank you. When I was um, going through, I went through cancer and wow. chemo and stuff, and it was right when Spirit got released, and Life Uncommon just means so much to me. Wow. That's and once, amazing. And when I read your book and how you wrote that for Jackie and stuff, yeah. I'm like, oh, I love this oh, song. The whole so story. And it, just, it really, like, I just, whenever I'm in a funk, I put that song on it. Just, like, oh. I've never, like, listen to a song that meant so much. I That's just, amazing. I really you. appreciate it. Congratulations on being a survivor. Oh, I know. Really something. Ten years. Amazing. amazing. You were young, huh? Nineteen. Wow. I mean, ten? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's young. <laughs> Still but young. Just amazing. And just thank you so much. And yeah, music's always helped me so much. I've always used it like medicine, so I've always mm -hmm. been really happy that it helps other people the same way. And I'm sure you're used to hearing people say things like that. But. No, it always means a lot. It, that's why I do it. I mean, the business is crazy. There's so much about it that just makes you want to quit. But I like people. I like the fans. I like the direct. Like I like that people get the music and it's nothing complicated. You know, that's the nice part. Is that a duet with uh, Tyrese coming out? Maybe? Yeah, you know, I think it's going to be part of his digital comic book which will be on iTunes, and I think if you buy the comic book, that single is a part of it. Tell me what you guys think of it. Is it out yet? I don't know. No, he had, he had a preview yeah. on his, um, what was that website? Say Now, or mm. that number you call, oh, and yeah. you leave messages for, like, right. he leaves messages for his fans and stuff, and right. he had a preview of that, and it sounded mm -hmm. really, you know, it was different, but it sounded Yeah, right. Babyface wrote it, and it's a nice song. Are you planning on playing any of your stuff tonight? Yes, I am. What do you think about it? I'm thinking about... Uh, stay here forever. And it's um, father's daughter, and she mm -hmm. would be probably. Oh, is my be. father's daughter? No, that's like a weird <laughs> daughter there. <laughs> father's daughter. Is that going to be on your next country album? I thought first I heard that I thought that'd make an amazing country single. Yeah, I think so. I'm just not figuring it out. I might do a mini album release with Walmart where it's six songs for like five dollars or something like that. Um, so that's what we're looking at right now. Yeah. And so I'm trying to figure out what six songs I would do. That's tough. It's really hard. Have you played Flower Doll? Have you practiced that one? That's like an oldie with a long time. But I did learn my homework from the <laughs> <Yeah. gym>. <laughs> What <laughs> were you doing? Angel uh, Sending by Angel no. Ride and uh, yeah. uh, the Totally Tech Horror song. No more of a housewife. Housewife's Revenge. No, no more of a housewife. <laughs> or you should do uh, Till It Feels Like Cheating Tonight. Oh, I haven't practiced that one. I've got to interrupt. I'm so sorry. I've got to sign off. Right. <laughs> Everybody, well, say goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs>